Hello everyone, welcome to the Wallace Network. I see you notice my safari hat and my safari bag. That's not surprising. I have this on because we're going on a safari in the middle of Malibu. It's called the Malibu Wine Safari. And while we're here, we'd be talking about ungulates, which are hoofed mammals. We're going to wait for the trek to get here and we'll get started. Remember, we said we were talking about ungulates? This yeah, right here is a wanna, horse. Oh, okay. here you go, Can we pet the horse? These, they're horses and donkeys. These are a type of ungulates called Priscodactyla. Call that because there are two different kinds of ungulates. We got the two alpaca. We've got Tupaca Shakur right there, and there's Chupaca back there. <laughs> Nazi's feeding a donkey Odie right here. Yeah, because we got <laughs> we've got a the odd toed, right there. Odd number of hooves. That is so funny. And even number of hooves, which is audio dactyla. So you see these? Open you see your these hands hooves? you don't take your little fingers. Oh, wait, see that hoof right? Oh. See, they only have one hoof. I don't think you like which it. means <laughs> they're Percy dactyla. Isn't that fun? This yeah, is not a good. pony, this is a horse. Yeah, thank you. Pony. Can you imagine you want some more? Horses are bred. Feed the horses. Feed him. Hey, can I feed the llama? Because he can find a llama. Can We're going to talk about... Yeah, feed the... Like feed, feed, feed. So see, ah. you see them? Yeah. <laughs> those were fed. Those are bred to be in a... What anniversary? Little... Four. Like, so it was nice to meet them in the... In the castle. No, you can't ride them. And the reason why they have that thing over their eyes is because they're allergic to flies. Uh, horses and donkeys. You see the see the resemblance? Yeah. Yeah. This donkey. Um, those are fly masks, so they can totally see through these masks. If you're feeling bad for them, don't feel yeah. bad because if they get like an infection. Uh, or cut the flies can kind of lay eggs in there and cut so they get that. You see a donkey. Yeah. It's just food. They're just like. I love the La Jolla village. Oh, yeah, look at these alpacas. This is not a llama, it's alpaca. The alpaca is the woolly kind. Look at its long neck. Look at its long neck. And remember, we were talking about hooks. Two toes. <laughs> Two hooks. <laughs> that's why. That's why they're called. That's why they're called artiodactyla. We're gonna see a lot of these today. Even giraffes, camels. These belong to the camel family. Hippos have them. And then for the. Uh, I think donkey too, but for the Priscodactyla, you got your tapers, you got your rhinos, and you got this, and you got these. Of course, yes. To the phone fight for donkeys. Donkeys. <laughs> yeah. I used to, I used to eat rabbit food when I was Have a the... kid. So. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. I don't think I'd eat this. No, but you're welcome. welcome. I mean, I was I was young and. Jenny, do you really like realize? this? Stuff. Wait, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Wooly person. Do llamas. Llamas. Oh, they feel like. Oh. Feel so cute. Now donkeys and horses are are herbivores, so they'll eat, so they'll eat plants, just like they're doing right now. Um, we're gonna leave the donkeys and horses and alpacas and. I'm surprised you with something else. Oh look, sheep. Now these are e those are artiodactyls. See they're see they're buying. See they're bleeding. 
You're not a sheep. You're not a sheep. Let me talk about the sheep real quick. Sheep are actually really ag aggressive in the wild. Like, cause every time they go around, they will headbutt. They, the sheep always grow long horns. Underneath them is to activate the milk gland. Really? Yeah. So they'll come up under mom, and and it looks like oh. Uh -huh. But then I was like, why do they do that? And found that they are activating the milk gland. They want to oh. eat. So they're not really fighting. Oh. If you see the two sheep coming up underneath, that's to do that. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. What's the sheep's name? Uh, male sheep and Miranda Lambert. Oh, okay. <laughs> All these flies, but anyway. Yes, okay. sheeps do make milk, just like cows and goats. That's a stretch, though. A little stretchy. <laughs> a little stretchy. <laughs> and remember, we talked. We were better. talking about who? No, I'm always two toes. I'm always Adam Lambert. Even toed. Adam Lambert. Yeah, but so that one's not your crowd. Fun. And then there's a. Famous enough yet? Yeah. Um, so and sheep, no. sheep's <laughs> wool are very fluffy. They're that used part. to make blankets, um, and sometimes they even get hunted for them. All right. So, over here. We are approaching some llamas. We talked about, uh... Yeah, we talked about how there's alpacas and llamas. And that how they weren't alpaca... How... What we saw earlier were not alpacas. This is a llama. This is Barocco Llama right here. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> look, look at the toes. We talked about this before. You're gonna see a lot of. I'm gonna be pointing We've out the uh, toes a lot. We got Kendrick Lamar back there. <laughs> We've got M Night Shamalama. We've got. <laughs> we got Lama Odom. We've got uh, Lama Deus. <laughs> Where's Michelle? So we got llama. So that llama, so llamas are used for. Llamas are used for carrying stuff up up hills in South America. Hey, you know how they spit? They're gonna spit. They usually put their oh tilt back. Tilt back. That's usually when they're fighting for against other animals for. Oh, okay. Do that, and then they spit. Yeah, so, so he's about to spit now once they come over. I'm scared. You scared of I'm not scared. I'm the kind of close everybody's getting. Now you know. Now you know. A group of llamas is called a herd, like everything else. You yeah, got Barack Llama. Barack Llama. So we do have, so we do have Michelle Law. Wait, you get the pet? He's not gonna spit. He's not gonna spit on you. Also, the South American. <laughs> these are descendants of guanacos. Thank you, sir. You want some, he doesn't want any food. Do the do the donkeys like it? Is this a donkey? Yes, that's a donkey. You didn't know that was a donkey? I think you're hungry. That's that's a first. Feeding an animal on a sh on my own show. Oh, so more about llamas. What am I forgetting? I, I can't leave out their wool. I can't leave out that they're related to camels. Tell them what you just learned about the spinning. We already got that. Oh, okay. Oh, he's not. Um, you guys in the history at all? All right. Did they pick you at all for the... But, yeah, a lot of, a lot of animals in camel family. Spit for many reasons. We'll talk about the camel later. I'm the frog baby zebras. Let me ask you a question. Are zebras black with white stripes or white with black stripes? It's not rhetorical. 
Are they black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Black with white stripes. Correct. You are black. With, they are black with white stripes. They're color like that because, and you see that right there. Like, look at his hooves. Speaking of hooves, we talked about how zebras are have odd number of toes, which means they are periodactyla. Their stripes help them. The stripes are not just for camouflage, but they're also for, believe it or not, keeping keeping themselves away from the heat. Here's another, here's another thing about zebras. No two zebras are the no two zebras have the same pattern of stripes. That, don't touch. I'm trying to eat. So how would I so how would I feed this thing? Just um just pass it to him. Ready? One and a little now I'm gonna feed a zebra on live on live zoologist network. I know you're hungry. I got a couple. Okay, thank you. How, what do they feel like? They're fine. They're uh, like really short carpet. Be careful. LeBron James. See what I mean? These are plain zebras. Hey, look, look, again, look. Oh, want to give you a kiss? No, you know, I pet a zebra. <laughs> also, zebras are zebras are very dangerous. Don't touch zebra. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to call you mama. <laughs> All wild animals are dangerous. That's why you don't have them as a pet. We talked about this the other episode. I see the second eyelids. <laughs> mm hmm. That's a good thing. Did you know that they have second eyelids? Yeah. And yes. Just so you're, in case you're wondering, are they related to horses? They Everything. have eyelids. No, we're not talking about frogs today. We'll talk about frogs another Why time. Why can't we talk about frogs? Another time. Because it's. There. It's hooves. I opened my mouth. Frogs don't have hooves. Zebras do. Come on. Come on, Ziggy. Right, right across from okay. the zebras. So these are, are the these water buffaloes. Water buffalo. It's these made out of water, buffalo. but they're buffaloes. If you, you lick them, April? if you get thirsty, it's, you since have since to lick your, them and then you'll get water. Since it's your anniversary, I'd like to give you something special. That's why they're called water buffaloes. I'm they smart. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let's see it happen. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't filled with a song. No. <laughs> People confuse these things all the time. <laughs> with three different species. Cape buffalo, water buffalo, and bison. Sorry about these water buffalo. The the dad got together with two different gals and had babies from two different moms on the same day. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Rumor had it was open bar that night. So. What are the buffalo's names? That one's a buffalo, I think. You should have laughed at that. That's a bad word. It's a bad word. Car coming. Car coming. Anyway, what I was saying. Buffalo are actually... Those buffalo are actually water buffalo, not cape buffalo. The cape buffalo from Zootopia has... The guy cussed. Okay, Zeke. I keep getting interrupted. Okay. Cape buffalo live in Africa. Those live in India. You guys know why we have red roses in front of the vine? Because it would just stick the animals out trying to get it. Also, bison live in North America. They are not buffalo. If you want to see a buffalo, look over there. Why am I looking at the grass? I'll show you why in a little bit. 
but because I have a big Next surprise. First, I'm going to do this. You see that? The world's tallest land animal. The giraffe. Look at that long neck. Let me hold it. You go do it. Look at this long neck. Look at this tongue. A little bit closer. Closer, bud. That tongue is purple because they... Look at that tongue. You want to put it in your mouth? Nope. No? <laughs> so you see that tongue? That tongue, they have special saliva that will make, that'll hide them from their spit. They, cause they're, cause they're, uh, cause the thorns, they, leaves they eat have a lot of thorns. They eat acacia leaves. You know, fun fact, that long neck, that long neck right there, they get their name, the scientific name, which is called Camelopardus. Neck of a camel, spots of a leopard. Speaking of their spots, no two giraffes are the same. You see why they got there? You see why they got those little ossicones? Those are for fighting. Nice job. Okay, some. Also, here's a question for you. What? What is a what is a group of giraffes called? Is it called a herd, a flock? What is it? I'm gonna put that in chat. Actually, we don't have a chat. What is the what is a group of giraffes called? A tower. It's called a it's called a tower. <laughs> Which should be obvious because they have a long neck. That long neck benefits them because they can see lions in the wild and know when to run. It's kind of funny because most like bigger animals, yeah. they usually yep. when they go to eat something, they lead with their teeth. Yeah, that's true. These right. Guys lead with their Come on back, please. Yeah, it's because they're they're tasting the thorns, so they don't get so they don't get spiked in the mouth. You can do it. Let's play. Remember we talked about hooved animals. What kind of, what kind of ungulate is this? Artiodactyla or Priscodactyla? I'll give you the answer. Artiodactyla. Remember, two toes. Yes. Are you the mouth Oh, you did. If you know, want to know which one, what's another? Some other examples of even-toed ungulates. Call them. A, oh, look. <laughs> you survived. Yeah. You survived. Here's another, here's another fact. You got pigs, deers, cows, sheep, goats, hippos. Oh, he's going to eat out your mouth? Yeah, do, I'm not doing that. That's disgusting. You gonna do it? Yes. He's about. You're actually gonna let him eat out your. You're actually. He's actually gonna eat out your Zeke's mouth. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Zane. Come on, let's get this one shot. You. you got it. All right, Phil. The African stretchy horse. I gotta try it. Come on. All right, don't um, give it to him until I tell you to. Come come Go on in there. Okay, let's try it. Wait, what are we doing? We're gonna stand together. Okay. We're taking a picture of the giraffe. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, this goes off the plot of the show, but peacocks and a tortoise. That is a. They lay eggs on farms, but that has absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about. But that's okay. These feathers, they're feathers because they're trying to find somebody. So they open their tails. Now tortoises, how do you tell the difference between a tur turtle and a tortoise? 
Tortoises are aren't around water, and turtles are. That's all you need to know. Back to the plot of the show. Goats. Look at their eyelids and tell me what you see. Square, are you talking about? I'm a real man. Are you talking to me or your no, phone? I'm filming. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Square eyelids. I mean, square eyeballs. Oh, yeah, you that right. means... Uh, you did? I missed it. We, all, we always have a saying on the show. Eyes on the side are meant to hide. Eyes on the front are meant to hunt. These goats have eyes on the side so they can see all places when prey... When predators come, goats are also artiodactyls. <laughs> that goat. are also a type of sheep, hence the bleeding noise. They are good climbers. Why is his eyes like, why are their eyes like that? I don't know. Their pupils are weird. That's unfortunate. Their well, pupils are real, weird. High mountain that's goat. That's interesting. That's not a mountain beard. goat. That's not a mountain goat, but. But how can he climb that haystack? They like, goats like to climb. That is not a deer, that is a goat also. Yeah, I'm trying to make it so that, I don't know if you can see if there's a, we have a slope right there. Yeah. But so that the runoff just goes down the slope. So it just are these are, these are type, these are special type of artiodactyls, just like cows, just like yeah. sheep, just like goats. They're called bovines, they make milk. Anything in the cow family, sheep family, are called bovines. Bison. Water buffalo, like we saw earlier. You know what I mean. You see, this is a this is a dude, because the you can tell because of the horns. But that goat over there is a female. You can tell that because of it. Is that a female or is it a male? Let me see. I, I think it has. It's, it got horns still. I believe it's still got horns. It's still got horns coming out. So it's a. Oh, well, it's a girl. It's a girl because it has the udder to make milk. The girls make milk. Boys don't. So let's take in the goats and that uh, G giraffe over there. A little quick sequence, a little quick little fact before I edit this in here. Do you know why peacocks run around zoos? All right, this way, everyone. Because it costs less money. We have done it. We fed zebras. We fed a giraffe, which I thought I'd never do until I got older. So with that being said, thank you for watching the video. This is my gift to you, 112, episode 112. We're still at it. We got, what's that? I believe eight more seasons, of, eight more episodes of the celebration season. I'll see y'all next time. Passion is Gateway Success. I'm not going to say it again.